After a poor enter last week, the pound responded with a dominant performance this week, gaining an average of 0.8% against the other major currencies. Indeed, it was only the Japanese yen that it lost out to, dropping 0.2%. Such a performance has helped the pound climb to the top of the heap over the last month, having gained an average of 1.6% since Christmas Eve. This came as a result of positive economic data, which even managed to push political events in Davos and a tariff spat between the UK and US aside in the minds of investors. With the exception of last Friday's poor economic data, figures were positive across the board for sterling. Employment reached a record high for the country. Earnings growth for basic wages held up at 3.4% and unemployment remained low at 3.8%. In addition, Rightmove's index of asking prices climbed 2.3% higher this month, while the CBI's Industrial Trends Survey showed the largest swing in optimism since 1958. In the build-up to next week's rate-cut decision by the Bank of England, this positive data went as far as to reduce the likelihood of a cut from 70% to 50% in the eyes of investors. The euro endured a tough week, winding up in last place amongst the big four currencies, GBP, YA, USD and JPY, losing a cent and a third to sterling and giving up seven-eighths of a US cent. This was attributed more to an absence of positive developments than a poor collection of data, however. An increase in inflation saw it return to 1.3%, as expected, while construction output enjoyed a 0.7% boost in November. Even positive zoo surveys of economic sentiment were not enough to encourage investors over the course of the week. Thursday saw the euro suffer a further blow, with the European Central Bank, ECB, President Christine Lagarde announcing no change to monetary policy. Lagarde also launched the first strategic review of ECB policy in 16 years. While all of this had been anticipated by investors, there was emphasis placed on the seemingly dovish tone of Lagarde dispronouncements, leading to a continued lack of optimism in the euro and a markdown of the currency. International Payments with MoneyCorp a specialist foreign exchange service for companies competing on the world stage Whatever happens to the currency market in 2020, if you're sending money overseas, your high street bank may not offer the most competitive exchange rates and may also charge higher fees. City AM readers benefit from no transfer fees, as well as, great rates on 120 plus currencies convenient online platform and mobile app to manage and track your payments an automated regular payment plan for scheduled costs tools to track, target and even fix exchange rates for major payments free expert guidance and support from a team of specialists we have been delivering great value currency services for over 40 years and achieved FIFO 2019 gold award for for more on this story. Visit the news article link.